Hi, it's Dr. Hausman with AR Health. This month, we mark World Hepatitis Day on July 28th. This is a great time to talk about hepatitis screening and treatment. What exactly is hepatitis? Hepatitis, that turns your skin and eyes yellow, right? Hepatitis, uh, isn't that something you get from tattoos? Hepatitis, isn't that something old people get? Hepatitis? I'm good. I, I can't get that. I'm pretty sure I got shots for that when I was a kid. Um, not exactly. Um, hepatitis generally means liver inflammation. But what we're talking about specifically is infection when we talk about hepatitis. Hepatitis is the alphabet infections. There are hepatitis A, B, C, D, E. There's EBV and HSV and CMV, but um, I'm, I'm digressing a bit. Hepatitis A and E are generally caused through unsanitary conditions, um, food poisoning. Um, they can make you very sick, but generally they're not fatal. Uh, they don't typically stick around very long, uh, and therefore we're not going to focus on them as much. Hepatitis D is also kind of weird. It's, it's different, and, and we're not going to get into that. Um, you know how like a platypus is supposed to be a mammal, but it lays eggs and it has a bill? It doesn't really make sense. Uh, it, hepatitis D is kind of like that. We're just going to kind of leave that aside. Um, so hepatitis B and C are the big ones, and that's the focus that we would have. They can become chronic. Uh, they can make you acutely sick, and a lot of people will get over it, but other people, it'll linger in their system for years, causing them problems down the road. Um, hepatitis B and C are transmitted through contact with blood or sexually. Um, B is something that many Americans are vaccinated for, like hepatitis A, um, but if you contract it, there's no cure, and you're going to live with it forever. Hepatitis C has no vaccine, but there are some treatments for it, and as long as you d diagnose it, they can often cure it, uh, but you have to get tested to do that. While these infections are much more prevalent in other parts of the world, there are probably 2 million people in the United States who are infected, and maybe half of them don't even know it. And about 10,000 people die from it every year. Um, so that's the point of this message. We want to recommend that people talk to their doctors about being tested to find out should they be tested, and if so, how often. Um, and the theme for World Hepatitis Day this year is we're not waiting. Don't wait until you get cirrhosis. Don't wait until you get liver cancer. Don't wait until you pass it on to a partner or to a baby. Don't wait to get tested and don't wait to talk about it with your doctor. So if you have other questions about hepatitis, please leave them below. And just to be clear, I love platypuses. It was just an example. Remember, be kind to one another because it's good for your health.